today's video, we're going to go over creating a donut chart, but I don't want to do just a simple example. I want to do a quite complex example for you guys because I feel like that's the best way to learn about something. Um, and my example that I'm going to do for today is I'm going to extend off of that previous video that I had around deals and having a social media influencers app. Um, so as a social media influencer, you might have many brand deals that you're working with. Um, and for today's episode, what we're going to talk about is being able to track services that we're going to potentially offer to that particular brand if the deal closes. Um, and I want to have a chart that shows me my composition of all the different platforms that are being asked for by our brands so that I can understand and get insights on which platform is my most popular platform that people are requesting of me. Um, and in order to do that, I want to be able to see it in a donut chart. So let's go ahead and let's go to plugins. Let's go ahead and add a plugin and let's search for chart and you'll see chart element here by bubble. We want to install that click done. Okay. And let's go back to our design and you'll see a line bar chart element show up here that was based off of the plugin. So now that appears, that's great. And let's go ahead and let's create a chart. Now, before we move forward, I wanted to show you what I set up in the background before this video started. Um, so I went in and I created a deal services uh, table and this deal services table is going to be the source of our chart. Uh, it's going to show us you know, and it's going to break down for us the percentage of the various platforms that have been requested. So you'll see here in the platforms column, we have three different platforms that have populated. So TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. So we want to be able to see, you know, the composition of all of those three and which one is the majority uh, of the three so that we can understand and get more insights of it from it. Uh, so these will show up in our chart. So let's go back into our design and let's go and let's change our chart type to donut. Okay. And let's change the type of data to that table that I just showed you, which was the deal services table. Okay. And the data source, we're going to say, do a search for deal services. Okay. We want to be able to see all the deal services in this chart. All right. We want to consider everything. Okay. Now for value expression, so this is where it was a little bit tricky for me. It took a while for me to understand what this basically is talking about is, is what exactly, uh, what is the value that you expect it to output for you? Is it a, a, su uh, a sum? Is it a count? Is it a max, a min, uh, you know, uh, we want to understand exactly, is it a percentage? Um, in this, in this example, we want it to actually be a percentage. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is we want to say, do a search for, and we're going to say, do a search for deal services. Okay. And then when we do the search for deal services, we want to look at all the deals, right? Where the platform is equal to current points platform. So what did I just do there? So I'm trying to define this donut chart, right? I'm trying to cut it up into particular sections. And that's what this value expression is allowing us to do. We're saying we want to divide this donut now into each of the various platforms that are involved in our deal services. So we had three platforms right? Which was Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. So that means we're going to see three wedges in this donut chart based off of what we just defined here. Okay. So that's exactly what we're asking it to do here. Okay. So now what else do we want to do? So the next thing we want to do is we want to do a count. And the reason why I'm saying we want to do a count for these deals is because we want to get a percentage of how many of a particular platform uh, has uh, made up all of our deals that uh, services that we've offered, right? We want to see that percentage. In order for us to do that, we need to count that 
number of deal service records that have been created, we want to count for each platform. So that's exactly what we're doing here, okay? But not only do we want to count for each platform, we then want to divide by the total number of deal services that we've done, right? So that's going to give us our percentage, which is exactly what we're looking for. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say count here for each platform. And then I'm going to say divide. Okay. And then we're going to do another do a search for. Uh, and we're going to say deal services. And that's it. We're not going to ask, we're not going to do this platform thing again, right? Because we, we already counted for each particular platform. Now we want to divide it by all the deal services we've had. Okay. So that's what we're doing here. Okay. And then we're going to finish this off with count. Okay. When it's blue, it's good. It means it's working. Okay. When it's red, like this one, it means no bueno. We got to figure it out. All right. So bubble makes it extremely clear for you. All right. That you're doing something. If you're I'm not on the right track, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. So another thing that we have to do, okay, is we actually need to go back. Okay, we gotta we gotta label our um we gotta sorry not go back we gotta go into our label expression okay so this is exactly like it says so we want to define the label what should the label show when we hover over a particular wedge in the donut chart we want it to show the platform right we want to understand the platform uh we want to understand you know what makes up this particular wedge uh, so we want to say the current points platform display okay very simple that's it that's all we want to do now we're not done yet okay because what's gonna happen is is it's gonna show you so if we go back let me actually do a preview here let me see if I can do a preview quickly you see that oh my god it showed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It showed eleven wedges. Now, why is that? If we go back to our table, it's because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven entries. So it's not showing it quite the way we want it to, right? It's giving us a wedge for each of our entries into that deal service table. So this is where the magic happens okay and this is where we got to add an additional uh parameter so if you go back to your data source okay then you want to go and click more here and when you click more what we want to do is we want to take those deal services that we've had so we've had 11 entries we want to group them by platform which means when you group them by platform you should only now see three entries and therefore three wedges on this donut chart okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our group by option okay we're going to say add a new grouping and for grouping we're going to say group by platform exact now we're also still not finished here because there's still another piece now if i go and i say and i close this okay and i say okay we're done We've added our grouping, this should work. Let's go ahead and refresh, which you might do. Nothing shows up, right? Absolutely nothing. The reason why is because Bubble, when you ask it to group something, it's gonna ask you to group it by what? So, or group it how, right? So we said group it by platform, but how do you wanna, what, what do you want the outcome to be, right? So if we're grouping by platform, do we want to get a count of the grouping? Do we want to get a uh, sum of the grouping? What do we want to do with this grouping? That's what Bubble's asking us to do. When you group something, you must also tell it for what the purpose of the grouping is. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to do a count, a sum? What is it, right? So let's go back into our group by option. And that's what this add a new aggregation option is for. So if we click this, what it's basically saying is, is tell us exactly what you want us to do with this grouping. So what we want to do with this grouping is we want to do a count of each one of the 
entries of the platform. So with, so now we've grouped those deal services into three entries, but within those three entries, there's also sub entries, right? For that particular platform that that grouping is under. Now it's going to count all those entries underneath that particular grouping. Okay. Now if we click close, you'll notice our label expression broke. So we just have to go back here and always make sure I've count, caught myself do this a couple times. Okay. Um, when you change something, it might not be apparent, but something else might have been broken, right? And um, you can always find out by clicking this issue piece. It actually bubble gives it you an easy way to identify if there's an issue. Like, look at that. Whoa, see that? I would not have, this would not have worked and we would not have seen it like this, right? Right now, we don't see any issues everything is blue which means everything's good right now if I refresh this still nothing's working so you're now pulling your hair out you're like why is this not working well guess what that's what this issue indicator is for bubble helps you out to get to the bottom of your issue so if you click this it's gonna highlight exactly the area that's broken and needs to be repopulated okay so we just got to repopulate this Platform equals current points platform. All right, now let's go back. Let's hit refresh. There we have it. Our donut works. That's it. Look, so yeah, this is kind of ugly though. You see this? You have the decimal places and the tool tips right here like this. Let's, let's change that, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go back into our line bar chart, okay? And we want to say, uh, customized tooltip number formatting, yes. We want it as a percentage. And let's do it to one decimal place. Okay, that's it. Let's go back. Let's hit refresh. Look at that, much better. Now we can actually read this chart. So it's showing that both TikTok and Instagram are tied. They're actually tied, okay? So they're both very popular platforms that our clients are requesting for us to post on, okay? The least popular uh, is Snapchat, but still a good amount. So there you go, there you have it. I hope this uh, video helped you guys, um, and I'll see you on the next one.